So this was the anticipation for Tiger. And what does he do in his opening shot? First since the Masters back in April. Pipes it right down the middle of the opening par four, 438 yards. Gave himself a pretty good look for birdie from 14 or 15 feet. Missed it, made par. Found the green side bunker at the par three second. Blasted out to there. And makes another one of those vintage Tiger par savers to stay at even par. Then he comes to the par five third. This for birdie for his first birdie of the comeback. And so Tiger has it to one under in the early going. The sixth and final birdie there. He did bogey the 18th to drop to five under. But then Finau, this is how he got his uh, round going today at the first. Beautiful drive, just a short iron, and he took advantage of that. In his first Hero World Challenge from just off the surface at the par five third. It's incredibly difficult around the greens. Over at the fifth, world number one, Scotty Scheffler, who really has not played much golf at all since the Ryder Cup. Zero. Zero. <laughs> He's played a little pickleball. Yeah, I talked to him beforehand, but, ah, man, what a good shot with the wind hard out of the left at fifth. But he was trying to fix that backstroke a little bit so he doesn't manipulate on the way through. Less hands, more arms and shoulders. Playing with the defending champion, Victor Hovland, in that final group. A long distance at two. Oh, look at him dial it up. Max, who recently won in South Africa. Jordan Spieth, who's won this tournament. This was just a moment ago. Second at the par five third from 258 yards. Yeah, quite a bit of breeze out there today. A lot more than it's been in the practice rounds. What a shot from Jordan Spieth. Absolutely fantastic there. Should be a kick in eagle for him. He didn't. And, you know, he lost his game around COVID time. Uh, and it's been a steady progress back. He's not the player he was in 2014. You can see that in the statistics. Everything through the bag is not the same quality. He looks for Charlie when he carries for him, so assume that part of his game is sharp. He's got another one. Really sharp. Well, Matt Fitzpatrick it is a reachable par four. A lot of guys were taking a crack at it in the practice rounds. Yeah, there's a bunker up the right about 320. If you carry that, you can get a run down, but it's a very narrow green. Oh, he's down the left. Oh, Ooh. Got a good bounce and a good second one. Wow, that's brilliant. Because that's a very, very narrow entrance in there with camber left and right off the green. What a shot from Fitzpatrick. I mean, that's a 380 yard par uh, four there. In his physical ability to be able to pull off a shot like that. Here's Brian Harmon, the champion golfer of the year, doing what he does as well as anybody has ever done it for four days at Royal Liverpool. Man, he didn't miss a putt there, Paul. 58. Cameron Young, he is putting for birdie at this par four. And he's got the power and he's got the short game. Right. Sit down, sit down. Yeah, walks it in. He's got 25% of the field here he's working on. <laughs> Just started with uh, Scotty Scheffler before the Ryder Cup, which we weren't too happy with him being an English guy, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> Scotty looks, uh, looks to be on the right tracks with Phil. His second shot here at this long par four. Keep an eye on that, Bob. Dead down wind. That's a good shot. Gonna leave. So six and 13. It's a double green here. So Harmon's on the other side trying to make another birdie. And he races that one in. Finau over at the 12th for birdie. Trying to get back within one of Harmon. Got it. And he was the hottest player in the game this time last year as he racked up win after win. And that part. Excellent, excellent. Again, always look at the flag when you're... There you go. Yeah, That's just beautiful. a little left of it, I'd yeah. say. Yeah. When you can't miss right on and left it in the perfect spot here to continue 
this little birdie streak going. This for three in a row. And to move the lead to three. Six under goes Harmon with his sixth birdie of the day. Another one putt. Colin Morikawa at the ninth. Even par through the first eight. And a good chance to get into red figures. He picked up that win at Zozo this fall after just briefly starting to work with Mark Blackburn, changed coaches. It was a big deal for him. He had been with Rick, uh, his original coach, for, for years, 18 years. So. Oh, that went in with conviction. Once you put the pencil the paper, it's a totally different game, and we're all finding out like he is right now. This is the 10th. And Justin Thomas. Yeah, that's more Justin Thomas like. A lot of self belief. He may fail, but it's not going to be failing because he's afraid of it or he's nervous. Oh, and he's on the run now. It's two in a row for JT. And don't think that the relationship that he has forged with Tiger is not going to help him moving forward. Tiger. Ball stayed just on the upslope, which is huge here. Had two wedges out, and he was just kind of testing the bounce, see which one felt better. And there's not many people in the game better at this than him right now. How good is he at these? Brilliant. Again, using the wind to his advantage. It was coming off his left there. Yeah. Justin Thomas has really brought it back after that tough start. Good looking putt and long yeah. range. Center cut for Tiger, a little smile on his face as he picks up that first birdie since the fifth. A look at Matt Fitzpatrick at the 13th. Putty for birdie. And gets that one to drop as well. He's not got much here. Straight down wind. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, that is brilliant. Oh, what a oh. shot from Max Homer. <laughs> That's going to be a tap in birdie to get to three under. Nearly got to four under with a hole out eagle. Homa has just kept the momentum going all year long. He mentioned that win and uh, on kind of familiar turf for yeah. him, right? Well, I mean, he's had South great Africa. success over in uh, in California with four wins. And Scotty Scheffler, he's turned it around. He was over par about an hour and a half ago. Did he do it again? He did. Bit of a bonus birdie there for the number one player in the world at 13. Woods now even five back. And this from is behind the green, Steve. Sorry, Dan, at 17. Cameron Young. That was a moment ago. What a shot. His demeanor, Dan, never like to make it two birdies in a row after the bogey at 16. Got to two under the birdie, it fell at 17. And another one mm. here at the last. It'd be an unofficial win, but I, it, you know, give him some confidence to beat a field like this. He's yet to win on the PGA Tour, but he's getting closer. Jordan Spieth, the 2014 winner of this event, nine years ago for birdie at the 12th. And the card oh. continues to be active. Another good tee shot there, though. <laughs> and good lies for both of them. Look at this touch. You, know, you, you look at those shots and you, you know you talk about all the comebacks from the surgeries. How about Tiger for short range of birdie at 14. Got it. Beautiful up and down for the host. Who inches a little bit closer back to red figures like he was at 11. Tiger, he's got 215 left as you can see. Yeah right to left wind. Just a five iron probably a pretty good number for him. This is starting at the left side of the green and turning over. He's got a chance to keep the rally going here, and he's going to have a great look at Eagle. He's played really well since, like what he said, since about the sixth hole. He really has turned this thing around. That was a very good putt. Two putt birdie, though, for Thomas, and he'll continue that momentum. Fifth birdie of the day for JT. He three putted that last hole. Uh, rolls it home. Birdie. And so 
He obviously enjoys playing here second the last couple of years and yeah. another good putt. Good putting performance out of him yeah. today, but he took all that time off after the Ryder Cup. Hasn't played any golf whatsoever. Continues a wild day here at Albany. This from long range for Eagle. He made one earlier from tap in range. This is some 60 feet for Spieth who hasn't made a par and now has made another <laughs> eagle from way out. <laughs> Look at this scorecard. Really good line. Oh, a chance for another nice birdie finish for Justin Thomas. Wow, really impressive play for Thomas coming back. That's for sure. 17. Spieth for birdie. And of course it goes in. All over the place. <laughs> I mean, that is a classic Spieth round. There are four pars on the card as he goes to 18. This is an historic round. For <laughs> While we were away, Colin Morikawa for birdie at 18 to join the group at three under. Perfect putt for Morikawa to put his name in the hat of the first round as well. Three under 69 for the two time major champion. So it'll be a par finish for Tiger. His first par since the 13th hole. Talked so much about his golf game and. Rightly so, everybody wondering what kind of game he was going to bring here today and maybe into 2024. But Tiger in the news, you know, outside of the golf course as well.